Hey everyone, welcome back. Riley here from Leader Pro, the number one software marketplace connecting buyers with sellers of software solutions instantly. Today we will be covering how to warm up your email in GMAS. So whenever you set up a brand new domain email, the first thing to do is obviously warm up the domain or the email. And in GMAS, there is a way to set this up free of charge, although this only works within the Gmail system. So just keep that in mind. But anyways, the first step is to create your GMAS account, and then after that, you just need to log into gmas.co. And then just log in with your email, and under the setting here, the way to turn this on is to go to email warmup, and then just check this box, and first it will detect if your email is a brand new email or a mature email. If it's a brand new email, it's going to start at 2 in this example here, and then slowly increase consistently by a certain amount, for example, here at 2, and then it will eventually max out at 200. If it is a more mature email, usually if you turn on the email warmup, it will detect that it's a mature email and then it will allow for a bigger number of emails to start. And by mature email, I mean an email that has existed for a while and is not a brand new email that was created yesterday, for instance. A mature email is an email that you've been using for a long time and people have been sending you emails and you've been sending them emails. Just lots and lots of interaction would be considered a mature email. And once you turn on email warmup, what it does in GMAS is send emails between GMAS users and it has you help each other to get emails into one another's main inbox. So for example, if person A and B are both GMAS users and they both have email warmup turned on, then GMAS will send emails from person A to person B on behalf of person A. And the email will land in the main inbox of person B, and not only that, but on behalf of person B, GMAS will reply to that email and mark it as important, and that way GMAS will log that as an important conversation. And Gmail will look at person A and B and see that they know each other and are communicating regularly. And each email sent out on behalf of you are all random, but GMAS labels them by having G warm at the end of the subject line. So if you see a bunch of gwarm in your emails, then you know it's coming from the email warm-up tool in GMAS. It is not a good idea to create a filter and filter out all the gwarm because they do want the email to turn up in the main inbox. And because you have done lots of email campaigns before using GMAS, you will have a general idea of the percentage of email recipients that are using Gmail, and then of course the percentages of others that are using different email providers such as Apple or Outlook. But if the majority on your email list are using Gmail, then definitely turn this on but just as a reminder, this warm-up feature doesn't work for any other email providers, it only works for Gmail. And this is because the email interactions are happening between GMAS users, and GMAS users are basically users of Gmail. So keep in mind that any warm-up happening here will only help you improve your reputation with Gmail, not any other platforms. If you want to have a more comprehensive warm-up, you should definitely use GMAS warm-up and also have another tool that allows you to warm-up emails with other email providers. That way you can have better coverage for your email list in case there are contacts that aren't Gmail users. But that's basically it, and it doesn't cost anything. It's a built-in function in GMAS, and it's completely free to use. The only requirement is that you have a GMAS account, and that's really it. And one last thing, over here will also allow you to see stats, and what the stat setting shows you is basically the percentage of how many emails are going into the main inbox, how many are going into spam, it will give you comprehensive data. So in this case, for example, you can see most of the emails are going into the main inbox and very little are going to spam. And it will also show you the progression, so you can see at the start there are lots of emails going into spam, but then over time more and more go into the main inbox. It will take time to get emails to get into the main inbox, and how long it takes is really a mystery, but the longer you warm up the inbox, the better. And you can see it's taken about four months, so just allow for a long time horizon for email warm up. That way it will help you get into the main inbox for the contacts on your list that are using Gmail. Anyways, that is how to warm up your email on Gmail. Thank you so much for watching, and subscribe for future tutorials. Join Leader Pro today.